corn harvest from stock to storage. This video focuses on how field corn is harvested. We've studied plant life and how the seedling grows to produce a cob of corn. But exactly how does corn go from the stock to storage? Unlike sweet corn, field corn is not harvested while it is fresh and juicy. Rather, farmers wait until the corn stalk dies and dries out. The cob of corn will usually bend downwards and the husk surrounding the cob will dry out. Additionally, the kernels on the cob will dry, harden, and dent. When the corn reaches a moisture level in the 20s, the farmer will begin harvest. Harvest is done with this machine, a combine. This John Deere combine has a corn head attached to it. The corn stalk is aligned with the opening between the heads where it is pulled into the machine. It travels through the machine and the kernels of corn eventually end up in the hopper or holding tank. Let's watch. Notice how the corn stalks are aligned between the pointed cones. Inside each is a mechanism that pulls the corn stalk down and strips the corn cob off the stalk. An auger moves the corn cob into the machine. You can see on this corn head where the farmer added a wire screen to the head. This was done to prevent the cobs of corn from bouncing up and out of the head. After the corn enters the machine, it is fed into an enclosed area not visible to the naked eye. Here in the thrashing area, the thrashing bar moves round and round, separating the grain from the cob. The grain, which is heavier than the stalk, leaves and other foliage, falls into an auger where it is moved along a series of sieves which removes the extra plant material, pieces of cob, and corn chaff. It is then fed up an auger into the holding bin or hopper. You can see here how the corn is moving into the hopper. This combine's hopper will hold about 300 bushels of corn. Once the hopper is full, the grain must be emptied. Here, the grain in the hopper is being dumped into a grain cart. Sometimes the field rows are too long and the hopper fills up before the combine can reach the end of a round. So another method of unloading is called side winding. In this method, the combine operator will unload the hopper as the combine moves down the field. This method allows the operator to keep combining corn rather than stopping to unload. As you can see, side winding takes some skill and experience. The tractor driver must be able to maintain the same speed as the combine while aligning the cart with the auger. This must be done while also maintaining a safe distance from the combine. While this shows a grain cart being filled, a truck or semi-trailer may also be used for side winding. A grain cart will oftentimes be used when field conditions are too muddy for a truck or semi-trailer. At the back of the combine, you can see leaves, chopped stalks, and other plant debris being blown back onto the field. As mentioned earlier, this debris comes from the thrashing area where the cob and corn were separated within the combine. The debris, along with the rest of the stalk left standing in the field, is chopped up and worked back into the soil, providing nutrients for next year's crop. 
In the upper left-hand corner, you see an operator plowing the field once the stock chopper has run across the stocks and chopped them. When the grain cart or truck is full, it is either taken directly to a grain elevator or to the farmer's storage site. Here, the load is being dumped into a holding cart on the farmer's site. From there, it is unloaded into an auger. Notice the wire safety feature surrounding the auger. Augers should be approached carefully as they are one of the most dangerous pieces of equipment on a farm. The augered corn is placed in this holding bin. The corn here needs to be dried to 15% moisture for storing and future sale. In the corn dryer, excess moisture is removed through heat. Once the corn is dried, it is augered into a bin where it remains until sold and transported to the local grain elevator.